guys, today we got a new road to the show method. Now, in this method, I know you, some of you guys have been seeing where you can get uh, 100 hits in a game, like 20 homers, 50 homers in a game. Well, that's gonna be this method in this video. You guys sometimes be able to get 10 hits, 20 hits, 30 hits, sometimes 100 hits in a game. So, I will show you guys how you guys can do that with my roster. I made an easy roster for you guys. If you guys are new, make sure you guys drop a like on the video and hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. If you haven't hit that sub button, what are you doing? Ask yourself, what are you doing if you haven't hit that subscribe button? But anyways, big shout out to, let's see what his name is. Big shout out to uh, Sean on TikTok. Actually, one of the first people that I know that found this glitch. So big shout out to Sean. I have his TikTok down below in the description, man. So uh, also guys, a bunch of people sent me this. So appreciate all you guys for doing all the work for me. You guys are, are killing it, man. So keep dropping, drop a like on the video. Make sure you do hit that sub button and let's get into today's method. Alrighty guys, so we do have a new method where we can get like a 200 at bats, uh, sometimes 20 at bats, sometimes 30. It all depends, but there's a new method where you guys have been seeing where you can get a bunch of at bats and homers in a game. So I made a roster for you guys. So you want to come over to vaults. You want to go to create and vaults. So the roster vaults take forever to get into. So make sure you do press R1 and I'll see you guys once it finally loads. All right guys, so once you get into the vault, you want to make sure you're in the roster section as always by pressing R1 or RB and you want to download my new road to the show roster. It's going to be RTTS grind. It's going to be LSC RTTS grind. Make sure you guys do type that in. Make sure it is from YT Lightskin Chris. That is my official PSN. And also I've got a couple other ones here. I have my exhibition grind and my franchise grind. If you guys want to check those out as well, I have videos on my channel. But this will be the new road to the show grind here where you guys can get uh, like 200 at bats, like 50 homers in one game. It's like literally insane. So make sure you download this roster. I have every team set to zero and I made the Rockies all 99 players because that's how you pretty much do this method but with the Rockies they play at ship it stadium in the minor leagues and they also play at Rocky Stadium obviously of course so it makes it a little bit easier to get those homers I it honestly makes me feel better that I am a uh, Rocky knowing that the ball is just flying out of the park so make sure you guys do download this roster and I'll show you what you want to do next uh, you want to go to download uh, save new file if you haven't already and that's pretty much how you download the roster so I'll see you guys on the main menu so you guys what to do alrighty guys so what this new method is gonna persist of is you're gonna need to start a new road to the show file that way you can be on the Rockies with the all 99 Rockies and everyone else is zero overall so uh, what I would do want to show you real quickly is you want to go into your ball player and you want to make sure you do have your correct archetype equipped whichever one you do want to grind in this case I still want to grind my Hawk even though he's already a god but I'm gonna be the Hawk in this case so make sure you guys do uh, make sure you select your correct archetype there so I'm the Hawk in this case but what you want to do is go with your road to the show and press a square here on PS5. I don't know what that is on uh, Xbox, but you're going to want to start a new file essentially. Set up ball player. I usually back out of the screen, then it's going to take me here. Load saved rosters, guys. So then you want to load the roster you just downloaded from LSC. So make sure you drop a like on the video because I made it really easy for you guys and I put you on the Rockies. So I, that, that's a, that deserves a like and a sub, right? So then you want to go to LSC RTTS grind here. Load that roster up with save new or save file and then you it's gonna ask you what team you wanna get drafted to. So I'll take you guys step by step on exactly how to set this up because if you are a two way player, I don't think this works correctly. That's what I heard. So I'll take you through all the steps you wanna do to set this up correctly. So here it's gonna ask you, um, is there a team you wanna be drafted from? Yes, there's one team I've heard more. You wanna click that one. So you're not gonna have the same path as me. It's gonna say, let me guess the Phillies for me, but it might say another team for you. So essentially you want to guide yourself to the NL West and you wanna guide yourself to the Rock. In this case, um, you want to say uh, not even the right league. No, it's actually one of their rivals. No, you're going to say no, but it is a National League club. That's where you want to go. And that's going to ask you the NL West. Um, it's going to say no, it's actually one of their NL West rivals. That's the one I'm going to click. It's going to guide me to the Rockies. Yes, that's the one. I want to play in Colorado. So, guys, you might not have the same path as me, but essentially guide yourself to the Rockies and to the NL West. So, uh, you want to say right, then you're going to get drafted to the Rockies. So, here, I'm going to go through a cutscene. I'm going to get drafted. My phone gonna ring from the Rockies. So uh, essentially, I'm not gonna play this cutscene. I don't wanna waste your time. So I'll see you when the cutscene is over, but you are gonna be drafted to the Rockies if you chose the right path. All right, guys, so after your phone rings, you'll be right here. So then he's gonna ask you about two-way playing. So then you wanna see, uh, I'm game, let's try it. Do I have to? That's what you wanna click here. It's not gonna stop you from doing it, but that's what you wanna click. And then you wanna say, sure thing, skip. That's what you wanna tell him there. Then he's gonna ask you, where do you wanna play? You guys have to pay attention here. If you do this stuff wrong, this will not work the right way. So then you want to go to somewhere in the infield for sure. If you 
want to be an infielder, then you can do that. If you want to be an outfielder, it actually does not matter whatever position you want to do here. You can click whatever you want. In this situation, I'm going to go with the shortstop. But like I said, you can pick catcher, outfield, or whatever position you want to do here. But I'm going to go with shortstop. And then that's pretty much it. He's going to take you into your season. So once you get into your season, guys, all of the Rockies League will be pretty much uh, 99 players, guys. As you can see, a bunch of Joe Randoms, right? So then you want to look here, everyone, uh, on every other team is one overall. And then we go back to the Rockies here, right? We go back to the Rockies. We're all 99 overall. So then what you guys want to do here is you guys are going to want to go into your settings and go into mode specific. Oh, wrong one. You want to go to mode specific. Turn off your um, your base running and turn off your fielding. Just to do that, make sure your hitting is on beginner. If you ever want to take any at-bats, those are the settings you guys would want on there. So make sure you guys do have those settings on. Hitting difficulty on beginner as well in gameplay. So then you guys are have one more thing to do and I'll show you guys what you want to do. So uh, you have one situation where John John Kent, I believe his name is, is going to contact you about being a pitcher. So I'm going to take you guys step by step on exactly what to do here. So uh, you want to say actually more inclined to become a position player. That's the one you want to pick there. And then it'll sim until the season starts. So I'll show you guys what you want to do around game four or five. You'll have your first start. So here I'm hitting and you want to play sim this appearance. And then you guys are going to have another game here. I'm hitting again. So sim this appearance. And it, I'd say it's about four game four or five is when you do get the starting pitch pitching opportunity. So you guys want to listen closely here and stay uh, watching this or you guys are not going to work for you cor the correct way. So here I'm hitting again. I'm going to sim through that one. Here I'm hitting again. I'm going to sim through that one. And here I'm finally the starting pitcher. So then you want to go sim um, sim this appearance, what you guys want to do there. And then you guys want to go to sim through date. And John Kent is going to contact you around the fifth day here. So this should be John Kent. He's going to ask you if you want to be a two-way player. Then you go and tell him, I don't like it. I prefer to focus on position play and hitting only after you click that option guys You will never have to worry about being a two-way player ever again So I took you through all the steps there Everything is the right way you guys want to make sure you have your correct archetype and everything equipped it So then we're gonna go into our first game finally and this is where the glitch is going to be amazing So he's gonna ask you Barry getting started skip just tell him whatever This is just a random cutscene and then we're gonna go into the game here guys And this is where you guys are going to get unbelievable Unbelievably, like you're gonna get like 200. Some games you'll get 200 at bats. Some games you'll get 20 at bats. Some games, some games you'll get 10 at bats. It, it all, it all varies, I guess. I don't know what kind of, what how it picks it, but it all varies. So what you wanna do is when you finally get in game here, you see all the Joe randoms. You're gonna wanna press circle to skip. And when you're on this screen, don't wanna press next appearance. You don't wanna press into game. You actually wanna back out of this screen every single time. This is how you do this. So I'm uh, just gonna. It doesn't matter if you have to pick a challenge here, but then you'll wanna pause it when you get in and. Simulate and exit guys so all of these stats are gonna be uh, Accumulated for you. So we'll sim this you usually score around 30 to 40 runs a game in this case I got 41 some games will score like 200 runs it all varies I don't know how it does it But some games like I said, you'll have 200 at bats where you'll hit 70 home runs I did this uh, last night I had 70 home runs in one game and I had like 200 at bats So guys it all varies but this one I had seven eight at bats and I had six doubles seven RBI So that's amazing to for all of those road to the show missions, right? So then you want to go into your next game as you get all these stats progressing you want to pick your correct archetype as well and he last game I had seven hits like how many doubles like six doubles it said so then you want to go into the same thing here and you want to press uh, sim you want to sim that until you get out of this screen and want to get out of this screen you want to go to exit simulate and exit guys so you want to sim all through this so hopefully this we get about 40 runs so this time we get about 20 runs so guys like I said you'll get around 20 30 40 sometimes you'll get 100 it all varies so in that game, I went one for four, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to back out. We had a, look at all, look at a walk, a hit by pitch, a homers. So you guys are going to have amazing stats accumulated when you are doing this. So all my stuff progressed through there. But actually, this is where you guys want to pay attention is you see all of the road to the show missions here. So, OK, maybe you just say whatever here. You just want to get through that. And then you guys are going to want to uh, go to your loadout. And this is where it gets saucy. So you guys will see all your road to the show missions. So all of these, I probably had like around. 50 when I started that now I'm at 58 it's literally amazing guys so as you guys can see all these accumulate so if there's ever a game where you do get over 50 player appearances only know that whatever how many player appearances you do get in that game you can't get over 50 so it pretty much caps out at 50 guys but it's still amazing because you pretty much get this done a lot a lot a lot faster so 
After all that, I'm gonna show you guys, you saw all my stats there, we have 58 hits. So we're gonna go back into this thing here, and I'll show you how amazing this works. So let's see how many hits we do get in this next one. All right guys, so we're back in this game, we're gonna sim through this thing again. You wanna press circle to get out of that screen, and you just wanna go to simulate and exit. So then we'll probably score a bunch of runs in this game. Yeah, we're probably gonna score like 40. All right, we scored 30 there. So I wanna get one of those games where I have like 500 at bats and like, like 200 homers, but uh, that only happens every once in a while. So this this game actually went four for eight. So I had a double, single, homer, and a double. So guys, you will get so much stats accumulated for this, so you guys will make a bunch of stubs, XP. And also another thing I wanna note here is it says no rewards, but uh, when it says no rewards, you don't get XP rewards every single game. You only get the XP rewards when you do complete a mission or complete something. So it is a really good XP making method and stub making method, but it doesn't get you a plus however amount of stubs and XP after every game, only when you do complete missions. So so do keep that in mind. I don't want to hear any comments down below saying I didn't get any XP that game. You don't get it every single game and you also, you don't complete challenges every single game. So you will accumulate those really fast though. So we're going to look at our hitting missions and all of our missions again and everything pretty much goes up. So you guys will be able to get this done a lot faster here. Everything went up here. I think my hits were at 58. We had four hits that game that went up to 62. So you'll be able to get all this done really, really fast. This is another road to the show method that I'm showing you guys here, but this one is actually so much better because uh, like I said, some games you will hit like 50 home runs. So if this helps you out, make sure you drop a like on the video, but that's pretty much it there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back out. I think I told you guys everything there, but also I know there was a glitch where stats weren't counting. And if that's happening to you guys, you guys wanna make sure you go over to your player. You wanna activate him. I think they patched this, but if they didn't, you wanna activate your player. He's a shortstop for me. You wanna activate him. And then you wanna come over to your Diamond Dynasty squad and just make sure he's on your Diamond Dynasty squad. Squad. And then after that, you want to go into single player mode, play versus CPU, and just take one at bat against the Orioles or whatever team. And then you want to back out of it. It doesn't matter if you hit a home run. If your stats aren't counting, that is how you fix that. But I think they might have patched that, guys. So it's a little up in the air. But I'm just letting you guys know just in case they didn't, guys. But literally, this road to the show method is insane. If you guys have any questions down below, let me know. You guys know I'm always here to help you guys out. So like I said, you will be, you will be getting a lot of stubs, XP through this. But what you're really working towards is finishing and capping out all of these 99 ball players and getting this diamond equipment, diamond perk, diamond uh, perk right here. So you'll get all this stuff, 11,000 XP here. So you guys will be able to get so much XP in stubs by doing this and you can do this for any archetype. So what I'm probably gonna do is start working on some more archetypes with this because it's free game, guys. If you take advantage of glitches in the game or uh, not even glitches, if you take advantage of the game, you're literally loading your roster and playing on the roster. So you will not get in trouble for this, but it's just in the game. So you guys better work to all of this stuff and get stubs, XP, all kinds of stuff, guys. So make sure you take advantage of this new road to the show method. It's insane. Make sure you guys drop a like on the video if this did help you out, baby. Also hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications because I will be live tonight. So make sure you guys do join the team. Like I said, it, it helped you out. I know it helped you out. So make sure you do join the team, guys. I'm trying to get to 15K and 20K by next month. But anyways, guys, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the description and the lights game. Ah. Chucky D.